What is going on, Pixelings? This is Bradley here, and today we're going to go over some Wii U news and recap some of the stuff that has been announced in presentations for Nintendo of Europe and Nintendo of America for the Nintendo Wii U. So let's just hop in and get to this stuff. So first up is that Nintendo has announced the release dates for the Wii U in Europe and in North America. So North America will be arriving on November 13th and then in Europe it will be arriving on November 30th. Nintendo also announced two different bundles that will be available for you to choose with the Nintendo Wii U. So the first one will be the basic set which will feature a white Nintendo Wii U, a Wii U gamepad, an HDMI cable, sensor bar, AC adapters for both the Wii U gamepad and, a and Wii U system itself, plus 8 gigabytes of internal storage, and this system, or this basic set, will run you $299.99. Nintendo also announced another bundle, which is called the Deluxe Set. This will feature a black Nintendo Wii U, a Wii U gamepad, 32 gigabytes of internal storage instead of 8 gigabytes that is present in the basic set. There will be AC adapters for both the Wii U and the Wii U gamepad, HDMI cable, sensor bar. This one will include stand for the Wii U and a stand for the Wii U gamepad. And there will also be Nintendo Land included with this bundle. And there will also be a deluxe digital promotion that will be available. And this set will run you $349.99 in North America. Now what this deluxe digital promotion is will allow you to like when you're purchasing digital content like on the Wii U eShop, you'll be able to earn points which you'll be able to use for future digital content. So that's pretty cool. I guess you get like money off and stuff like that. So that's all cool. Now for Europe, Nintendo didn't officially announce the prices of these bundles for that region. But you can go ahead and like go to retailers and see how much they are actually charging for the Wii U's. So yeah, you can do that for people over in Europe. So next up is that it has been confirmed that New Super Mario Bros. U will in fact be a launch title for North America and Europe. Plus, Rayman Legends will be a launch title in Europe. But there has been no mention of it being a launch title in North America. So maybe it won't, but maybe it will. Now, Nintendo also shared some new details about New Super Mario Bros. U during the Wii U preview event. So they announced that there's like a challenge mode that will be present in this game where you'll be like required to meet these certain requirements or objectives like in certain levels and stuff like that. For example, one requirement or a objective is to like not touch the ground throughout the whole level. Another objective may be to like finish a level in a certain time limit. So that's pretty cool to raise like the replay value of New Super Mario Bros. U. Now Nintendo also talked about Metroid Blast which is an attraction available in Nintendo Land for the Wii U. So they talked about uh, Assault Mission which is a multiplayer or single player mode where you'd be fighting off waves of enemies. One person can be using like the Wii U gamepad to control Samus' ship while the other players can be using like the Wii remotes and stuff like that to play on the ground and take out the enemies that way dressed as Samus. Nintendo also announced two other multiplayer modes for Metroid Blast. One is like a ground versus air mode and then the other one is like ground only free for all mode. So next up during the Wii U preview event Nintendo announced Nintendo TV with an II at the end so TV. And with Nintendo TV, you'll be able to like find all your favorite TV programs, movies, and sports all in one place on the Nintendo Wii U. And you'll be able to start your TV programs and stuff like that directly from the Wii U gamepad. You will also be able to interact with people online concerning these TV programs. So next up is that it has been announced that Project P100 has been renamed to the Wonderful 101 with that one being the player himself. But, nevertheless, Nintendo also announced that Capcom will be bringing Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate to North America in March of 2013 for the Nintendo Wii U and 3DS, and this game will feature online multiplayer as well as local multiplayer. So moving along is that it has been announced also that Disney Epic Mickey 2, The Power of 2, will be available on the Nintendo Wii U with like enhanced gameplay mechanics and stuff like that, along with HD visuals. Gotta love the HD visuals. And also, Jules Washam of Renegade Kid has announced that Mutant Muds Deluxe will be heading to the Nintendo Wii U. Pretty sure it will be an eShop title, but he didn't. we don't really have any details pertaining to this game just yet. But you can expect some sometime in the future. 
The last up is that Nintendo has released two new trailers for Nintendo Land and New Super Mario Bros. U that you can find on my blog. There'll be a link in the description below for those trailers. Oh so yeah, it looks like I'm going to be picking up the deluxe set of the Nintendo Wii U that comes with the black Wii U. 32 gigabytes of storage. Comes with Nintendo Land. Also, the digital promotion type of thing sounds pretty cool. So it looks like I'll be getting that set. So leave a comment in the comment section below about which bundle you are going to be picking up for the Nintendo Wii U. Well, that will bring us to the end of this video, guys. If you want, you can subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can go to thegamingpistol.com to get news and rumors for the 3DS and the Wii in the future. But I'll talk to you all later in the next video, guys. Bye!